Nightly greetings one and all. William Theo here, homegrown and happy to bring you PTV News Now. A piece of happy news just in. The country's fleet of patrol and security watercraft got a much-needed shot in the arm late this afternoon with the arrival of two fast interdiction watercraft, or FAICs, otherwise known as Acero-class patrol vessels from Israel. The pair of fighter-slash-patrol boats was safely shipped and handled at Pier 15 of Manila South Harbor nearly a week ago on September 17. This latest hardware acquisition by the Philippine Navy brings to eight the total of patrol and national security vessels to its fleet, with one more to be shipped shortly to the country. Little by little, the country's military hardware is getting its much-needed modernized upgrade as part of the reinforcement of the country's defense systems. It will be forceful yet eloquent. POTUS Joe Biden will unpack all his thoughts on the current world order and his foreign policy that will zero in on the raging wars in Ukraine and the nearly year-long conflict in Gaza that has begun to spread in the region. VOA's White House correspondent Anita Powell is in New York City and the UN headquarters and she filed this report. This is the last time President Joe Biden will address a major international forum, the hundreds of leaders who gather each year for the United Nations General Assembly. It comes at a clutch moment, says the U.S. ambassador to the global body. We say this every year, but this UNGA could not come at a more critical and more challenging moment. The list of crises and conflicts that demand attention and action only seem to grow and grow. Atop that list, Gaza. Here, the U.S. position is not in line with the rest of the assembly, which last week overwhelmingly passed a resolution demanding that Israel end its occupation of Palestinian territory within the next 12 months. The United States was among the 14 no votes, which Thomas Greenfield said was in line with Washington's opposition to unilateral measures that undermine the prospect of a two-state solution. Analysts expect Biden to discuss his support of Israel and his support of Ukraine in this year's address. They spotlight those two conflicts as major challenges as he ends his presidency. With the Middle East, this looks like, you know, how do you keep the lid on this and see, hope the conflict doesn't spiral out of control into a regional war. And, you know, I think there's anybody's best guess about what's going to happen there. One thing is painfully clear. As the conflict nears the one-year mark, nearly 100 hostages are thought to remain in Hamas custody. The White House says bringing them home is their top priority and the key pillar of a deal to halt the fighting between Israel and the militant group. Kessler said many leaders will give Biden a warm welcome during his valedictory speech as he has used his term to rebuild alliances and reestablish global norms. There is a lot of affection for him out there in most nations. Of course, there's a few where there, there is not. Biden speaks in New York, Tuesday. Anita Powell, VOA News, New York. Right now, let me turn you over to my colleague in PTV's Baguio City Studios for what's hot and happening in the Cordilleras. Audrey? Ngayon bag Arabi, Pilipinas. Formalin anay lukat nila Trinidad Tourism Week 2024. Nga dan iti tema, Tourism and Peace. Nailukat iti publiko ti tourism booth dag iti barangay kan asosasyon iti munisipyo. Tampok dito dag iti local products kas iti alikaman, ethnic clothings kan taraon. Kagiddan iti rayta, nailukat pa iti publiko ti la Trinidad Tourism Building. Biningbig mati DOT ti la Trinidad Benguet iti tinawan kan agtultuloy apa nagselebrar dag itoy iti tourism week. Kabayatan na, nagdudumat iti aktibidad ang nakalinya iti makalawas sa programa iti La Trinidad Tourism Week, kas iti Lucky Visitors, Tour Guiding Forum, Mr. Grand Philippine Car, Dance for Peace, Tourism Awards, kan La Trinidad Highland Wedding Fair, ang maangay amin iti Municipal Gym. Tourism has been recognized as an important agent in bringing about peace and in an otherwise conflict-laden environment. Number one, tourism can be harnessed to promote intercultural understanding, respect, trust, tolerance, inclusivity, and advance the concept of unity. 
Ikita dumapay adamag temporaryo as sinuspender ti Commission on Elections ti special sangguni ang kabataan elections ita atawin. Dito ikot may basar iti COMELEC Resolution No. 11054, tapno may paayan ti Komisyon ang mga ipang pangruna iti mga sungad at 2025 midterm elections. Sigun iti Komisyon on Elections Cordillera, mapatapata abasit dag iti agtutubo ang makipasit iti nasa unga election, gaputa kimapo iti sense of public service dag iti daduma. Kangrunaan na, nalakang agbaliw ti focus dag iti agtutubo. Imunay nga impaulog ti komisyon ti panakaipadungpal kumati special elections para iti sangguni ang kabataan tap no makompleto ti quorum kadag iti barangay a kurang iti SK members. Kabayata na iti Baguio City, siyam apulo a barangay ti agkurkurang iti SK members. Naipalagip asaan ang makaarama dag iti SK members ti Pondoda no kurang ti mabukol a quorum. Tumulong din sana ang ating mga barangay officials na hikayatin yung ating mga kabataan na, na mag-participate, sumali doon sa elections para at least makompleto yung kanilang SK officials nila. Nagita, nagiti damdamag, malipo dito si TV Cordillera, siya, ni Audrey Villena, na Imbag Arabi. Many thanks Audrey and we've come to the end of our program. Join me anew tomorrow for more late-breaking stories in the afternoon and evening. And make it a habit to stay connected by catching the news right here. William Theo wishing you a restful evening ahead and thank you for watching PTV News Now.